All right, guys, we're on spring break this week, but I wanted to talk about something that I'm just beginning to kind of pay attention to, which is building student endurance in the classroom. Now, as a former coach, we know for years that uh, we have to, if we can prepare our students for athletic endeavors, we have to slowly get the stamina built up so that they can compete at a very high level. By the way, this is a video from the ESPN show called Catching Kayla. And if you have not seen this, I recommend you do it. I put a link in the overall little uh, information that goes along with this particular video. But I think that one of the things that we have to do is make sure that we get that same type of stamina, that same kind of endurance in our classroom. And definitely the research says that grit, which is kind of stamina plus the ability to keep going even when things are tough, uh, and you put a little bit of talent with that and you have a lot of student success. But oftentimes in our classrooms, we forget that not all of our students come in with the ability to maintain focus and concentration over long periods of time. And if we want that to get better, we have to have a plan to make it better. Uh, and so there are more and more articles out there called Teaching Persistence, How to Build Student Stamina and something along that line. In fact, I got uh, introduced to it through the Daily Five and the sisters that created that and they have a plan to build endurance overall. But generally speaking, Here's how you do it. You have to consistently discuss and talk to your students about the benefits of working a little bit harder, staying focused a little bit longer, and you want to start slow just like you would on a track if you're trying to work somebody into being able to be an effective miler. You start slow and then you gradually, as time goes on, push your students to uh, work a little bit longer, work a little bit harder, keep their focus longer when they go forward, and then just like anything, you want to know if you're succeeding or not, so you need to chart the progress and, and make it a point of pride in your classroom that kids can come in and, uh, and go through a lesson with ease instead of something where they continually lose concentration throughout. And if you do that, I think overall what you're going to do is build one of the traits that may be one of the most important ones that they'll learn throughout their career.